welcome to Ask Mike. Um, we're going to talk more about what is Ask Mike later on, but I want to go ahead and start right now. So um, me being an entrepreneur, consultant, speaker, all those things, um, I find that a lot of people are asking me on business strategy. They're asking me on business strategy. They're asking me on social media strategies. They're asking me on how much, just the how to's on how I got to where I am. And I thought, you know what, um, why not bring that information to you all, um, on a platform that you will all like. So from now on, um, every week I'm going to do what is called hashtag ask Mike. Um, ask Mike is going to be, um, just me giving you an opportunity to DM me, uh, text message me, email me, whatever the case may be, your questions about how to build your business, how to grow your business, how to scale your business, how to do some of the things that you see me doing on social media, and I will answer them to the best of my ability, um, to the best of my knowledge, right? Because um, as I grow, I'll be able to answer more intricate questions along the way for you guys. But right now, I believe the things that I know right now, the, the information that I have right now can help at least 90% of you all. So um, one of the questions I got last week, and this was a, from a one-on-one -on -one client, um, someone asked me about time management. How do you manage your time so well? How do you, are you able to do some of the things that you're able to do um, throughout the whole day? Because they, they saw some of the stuff that I do and it was a lot, right? You know, um, I have to manage my social media. I have to put together content and cut the content and put music in it and all these other things. Um, I also have to get clients and nurture clients and uh, relationships and just all the things that you do as an entrepreneur. And they're like, how do you manage your time so well? On top of just being a family man, right? I can't just be all business. I have, to, I have a wife. I have children. I have, you know, these things that I, and children in multiple states. I have, a, uh, I have you know, two children in Atlanta. I got two children in Chicago. I have my children here in, in Dallas. And I have to manage those, my wife, my business, my personal life, all these things. And he's like, how do you do it? I said, well, um, it wasn't always easy. So back uh, maybe, whew, maybe about five years ago, I just wasn't that good at time management. Right, I wasn't that good at it. Um, I, I would be all over the place. I would look at these pieces of papers that you know, these notebooks that I would be writing all this stuff in, all these things I need to get done, and I would be trying to attack them throughout the day. And some of them would not get uh, get done. Some of them would halfway get done. Some of them would be uh, get uh, get done completely. Right. What I found was um, there was a lot of distractions. There was a lot of uh, procrastination. There was a lot of uh, just multiple things that came into play. And I had to first take an assessment. Like, I, I really believe, I really believe, um, and I heard this, look, I heard this from a rapper, but he says, sometimes you got to go away to make a comeback. I had to get step back for a second and look at what I was doing as an entrepreneur with my time. So I, I, Throughout the day, I wrote down some of the things that I was doing that could have helped me or hindered me in my business. I took a full assessment of what I was doing throughout the day. We're talking about every little thing, um, to scrolling in my phone and looking at other people's feed, to answering emails, phone calls, all the little things that happened throughout the day. And what I found was a lot of the stuff that I was doing was frivolous, busy work. And it was distraction work. What I mean by distraction work is um, I could be in the middle of typing up some copy for a blog and then an email will come through and I'm like, oh, I need to answer this. Now, granted, it is an email. It probably does need to be answered, but I need to focus on the task at, the, at hand, which was finishing that blog content. And then I can get to the email when it's time for my email to be my emails to be answered. So. I found that I was doing a lot of that stuff. So what I had to do was I had to make a real plan, right? I had to make a real plan. Um, what I did was um, I sat down and I told myself, what are you going to be doing throughout the day? 
What are you going to be doing throughout the day? What is your job description? A lot of you, a lot of you entrepreneurs, a lot of you people out there in Instagram and in Facebook, you call yourself entrepreneurs, you call yourself business owners, but I guarantee you, you have not written out a job description for yourself. You don't even know what you're supposed to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, Grant, now this is not something I just made up. When you go to a job, when you go to a real job, they give you a job description, what you're supposed to be doing throughout the day, the expectation of you to get the type of money that they're about to pay you. How do you expect a certain amount of money to be given to you for your services if you don't even know the job description that you're supposed to be handling on a day-to-day -day basis? So I wrote myself a job description. And I told myself how many hours I'm going to work throughout the week. Now, granted, we're not uh, uh, at nine to five anymore, so I'm not just working 40 hours. It's an entrepreneurship. I need to be working 60 hours plus. So I gave myself 70 hours a week, and I broke that down to how many day, uh, how many uh, hours in a day that's going to be. And as an entrepreneur, you know you're not just working five um, days out the week. You're working seven days out the week. So I broke it all the way down, right, to how many hours I'm going to be working throughout the week. Now, once I broke that down... I broke that, even that down even further. So if you're working a 12 hour week, I mean 12 hour day, I want you to break that down into percentages of the tasks that you're going to be doing. So I told myself 50% of the 12 hours is going to be spent on getting clients, nurturing clients, prospecting, cold calling, emailing, all those things. It's 50% of my time because that's a revenue generating activity. That's something that needs to happen. So I told myself 50% of my day is going to be spent on that. And I found out that 50% of 12 hours will be six hours. So six hours out of the day, I broke those six hours into three and three, three in the morning, three in the afternoon. And I put those on my calendar. And then I broke everything else down. 20% on social media management, 10% um, on um, on personal development. I just broke it all the way down. 100% Broke 100% of my day, work day, broken down in percentages on the activity that I'm supposed to be doing. And when I did that, um, I found that, and listen, I've color coded it inside of my calendar, put notifications on it, and I will strictly use that calendar no matter what. I just go by my calendar now, and I guarantee you it has made me more um, productive. I've executed on a much more uh, effective level and I'm able to get more done and I'm not as distracted as I was with the busy work that a lot of us do uh, throughout the day. So um, that was one of the things that I did for time management. It's one of the principles I live by. I live by eight principles. We're going to be talking about those eight principles over the next few weeks. One of them is time management. Um, there's other ones like accountability, there's communication and um, emotional intelligence. There's all these principles that I live by and I'm going to give you some of the things that I implemented myself to be successful out of those principles. So look, this is the Ask Mike show. Um, I'm going to be answering your questions about personal professional development, um, wherever it is. If it's in your professional life as a nine to five um, you know, worker in uh, corporate America, or if it's an entrepreneur, solopreneur, coach, speaker, consultant, all those things, I'm going to be answering those questions. And what I want you to do is either you can, inside these comments, hashtag me, ask Mike, and ask me a question there. You can go inside my, for Facebook, you can go inside my uh, inbox, or you can go in my DM for Instagram, and you can put in hashtag ask Mike and ask me a question there, or you can email me at info at IamMikeBurks.com. That's info at I-A-M-M-I-K-E-B-U-R-K-S. You can email me there your question about the Ask Mike show. I will try and get to everybody's question over the next few weeks. Um, try and do maybe two questions uh, episode if I can. And um, man, I just can't wait to get engaged with you guys and start helping you uh, grow and scale your businesses. I'm Mike Burks. We'll talk next week.